you do that, but you play the kind of defense that they do with their pressure, you can afford to shoot 40.7% and still win 11 to 16 ball games. Hill misses the three. He says it's a pass, and it comes underneath the clock to the slam. You, you know what's crazy about these three-pointers is they're not really even close. You know, it's not like they're ribbing in and out, hanging in the rim. I mean, they're not even close. Texas with its biggest lead and a scramble and a steal. Here's Freeman.
hit that block. I mean, watch how high up in the air Chris Clyde gets to get a piece of this ball. That's good defense. Who really sets that whole play up? No, that's not goaltending. That's a nice play. Who set that up was Brady Perriman. I mean, Brady Perriman got a good position so that Erdman had to be watching him and couldn't see the defensive player coming. Abercrombie with a miss. He's got five points. 65% free throw shooters at five double doubles. Double figure scoring and rebounding games. Abercrombie's second, and he's got it. And Oklahoma, every down by six, has cut it to 29 26. Perryman is 0 of 7 in three point shooting in this first half. Reggie Freeman, a smaller foster on him, and he takes advantage of the height. Stone Piper won't go. We've seen some real scrap for the ball here tonight, and out of bounds, it goes back to Texas. OU's doing a nice job of changing up defenses. They're changing just back and forth almost every time down the floor, from their man-to-man -to, -man to their 3-2. They even showed it looked like a 2-3 a while ago. They flattened out and, and didn't match up with the three perimeter players. Perryman takes it out front with 106 remaining in the half. Now Hill. Texas by three. Dumped inside. Nice move by Jordan over Miner. Man, he moves so quick. I thought he shook himself. I thought he was going to fall down and didn't have balance as he stepped back. Five-point game, and Jordan's got seven. He's responded in a situation where he's needed tonight. With Bulls and Alvarado with two fouls apiece. Miner going for the three. Set a good screen for a cross cutter. And it's hard to teach kids, hey, you want to get open? The best way to get open, go set a good screen. Because that makes the defense switch and adjust, and after he set the screen, he just stepped back to the three-point line. That's a nice design play. He's got five. He's been in double figures, 53 of the last 54 games. The only night he didn't reach that was the game when he was ejected early against Texas Tech in December. Tech beat Oklahoma and Norman this year. The block by Erdman on Hill's shot with three seconds to go. Foster! possession will go the other way. Interesting, OU came out real small. Didn't come in with Bobby Joe Evans or with Evan Wiley. Both are about 6'9", 6 6'11". 6 They're going real small. Biggest player on the floor right now for OU. Six foot seven inch minor. Cross court to Irvin, back out to Foster. Foster, five points in the first half, had five rebounds, four assists. Two steals and the jumper good as Erdman gets the bucket for Oklahoma and the Sooners regain the lead after being down six at one point, 29-23. They lead it 33-31. If you owe you and you've got this small lineup, hey Deion Barnes, Tyrone Foster, you guys got a rebound. You got to get in there and help rebound. Traveling the call on Sonny Alvarado. Well, Alvarado, who did not play much in the first half due to foul problems, in fact, only played six minutes, 20 seconds. And he comes right out of the ball game and headed back in is Dennis Jordan, the junior from Lufkin, Texas, at Alon Morris Junior College. It's one of those situations where you're Sonny Alvarado, you know, you sat on the bench almost the whole first half. You come in, you just want something good to happen. You try so hard, and it's hard to get in a rhythm. Steal by Vasquez. Drop and load. Pitch back. in the corner and bump. 